Zooming down in scale from a person to one of these particles is like shrinking the diameter of the whole Earth to the size of a coin and then shrinking that coin by the same amount again. In 1997, excavation began of the cavern that would host it. There were five years of excavation and building the cavern. To dig the enormous underground holes for particle detectors, over half a million cubic meters of earth had to be extracted. New techniques of civil engineering had to be developed. In 2003, after six years of work, the cavern, as tall as the 10-story cathedral, was ready to host Atlas. Atlas was assembled one large piece at a time, each multi-million dollar part lowered into the cavern. An 8,000 ton giant of unprecedented size and complexity. The Atlas experiment has eight of the world's biggest electromagnets. At 120 tons, each barrel toroid coil is as heavy as two loaded 737 aircrafts. The installation started with the first coil reaching the bottom of the shaft. It was a spectacular sight, like a spaceship docking to its station. It took an hour to tilt the coil level again. Lowering it the last meter to the platform was a delicate operation. The last centimeters were the toughest on the nerves of the crew. The same process had to be repeated several times when finally it was tilted and lowered into place. Now we can finally witness the Atlas detector measuring the particles from the colliding protons. As two particles collide, hundreds of new particles are formed from the energy of the collisions. These collisions occur 800 million times a second, generating large volumes of data, hundreds of megabytes every second. To treat this massive amount of data, physicists, together with experts from industry, built new computing applications. Elaborate computer algorithms sift through this avalanche of data in real time to decide which cases appear worthy of being recorded for full analysis later. Of the 800 million collisions occurring per second, only about one contains interesting data that might lead to new discoveries. That fraction is still so large that when recorded, it is the equivalent of 27 CDs per minute. If all the data from Atlas would be recorded, it would fill 100,000 CDs per second. This would create a stack of CDs that would reach to the moon in three months. The data acquisition and trigger subsystem is designed to have around 3,000 computers running in parallel, each with the equivalent of eight processors. It has close to 30,000 software applications running simultaneously. Atlas works through computers located around the world and connected in a global grid to distribute all the accumulated data. It allows hundreds of research centers and universities from all over the world to analyze the data, but also share their own data and resources. Distributed groups can now work together in ways that were previously impossible. To operate the Atlas detector and computing system, 600 people are needed, working 24-7, although only about half of them at CERN. Those located elsewhere can also fix any problems that might occur via computers from where they are to the detector itself. Atlas's material costs amounted to 541 million Swiss francs and involved 2,500 scientists from almost 200 universities in 37 countries around the world. About 20% of all experimental particle physicists worldwide were involved with ATLAS. It took nearly 20 years to complete. This experiment is the culmination of a lifetime effort for many scientists. The dedication ceremony on the 21st of October 2008 signaled the end of nearly 20 years of development. Atlas is now entering its operational phase. For the next 15 to 20 years, 
It will serve science and mankind through an increasing collaboration of scientists from all corners of the world. A new pooling of knowledge and talent, which may well bring our knowledge about ourselves and our world into a new and very different light.